this is what I would like a lot of people to get, okay? Um, there are people in this world that their parents want their children to be normal, okay? I was born three months early. What is normal? Okay, so you can't make someone to be normal and they're not normal, okay? Like, you can't, you can't do that because it takes wear and tear on your child that is that was born three months early okay so then i feel like there is not no piece of paper with within a doctor or within a nurse of my information being right okay because i was born three months early i don't know what normal is you know but then people want to portray like I'm this normal person okay if you were born on time you're a normal person okay when you're born three months early and you have did everything late like I was like seven years old when I first learned how to tie my shoe you understand so then you can't say that a person is normal that this in particular person is normal I had to use hooked on phonics I had tutors, like, um, just, you can't pretend like your children is normal when your child is born three months early or your child has, um, let me see, uh, like, say your child was born six months early. And if your child made it, your child going to have complications and problems. I was born three months early. I was born in July, and I was supposed to be born in October. Okay? You can't pretend like your child is normal. And then you can't mistreat your child either. Okay? I just want people to understand that. Okay? When, when you go in, I'm going to put her in a mental house. Okay? That means that you can't take care of your child. Because she was born three months early or she lacks to have this or she lacks to have that. And it's sad. Like, it makes me cry because, like, you want me to be normal, but then I'm not normal. Okay, so there's things about me that uh, basically from keep going to heaven and coming back to earth, I had to come to realize. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm here, and I'm glad that I'm in this world. There are probably people in which I can talk to, right? But I just feel like that I have the wrong section of kind of people and which should be in my corner. So, no, I don't feel like I should be in a reserve home or something. But I do feel like I should have my children. I do feel like... um you shouldn't mistreat a person because you have a mental illness and a dog in your office that clearly states that you are mentally ill, but I am not mentally ill. I just was born three months early. People treated me my whole life like I'm normal, and I'm not normal. Okay, so then when you have to get on YouTube to express yourself, to let people know how you feel, you know, Oh, I feel like every person is wrong, you know? And you have to understand and be able to comprehend the person that was born three months early. And you can't treat everybody the same. So if I if I sit in a room with you for 30 minutes and I don't say anything to you, I just feel like your person don't understand me. You have to tell me, introduce yourself and everything about you first before you think I'm going to sit down and have a conversation about you to you about me I was raped when I was 8 I got shot in my leg when I was 13 nobody ever treated me right every person ever always bullied me and just to be around people I just I ain't really with that I don't like to be in large crowds of people I don't like 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 it, get, it would have to just be me and one other person not 12 people in the room and I just I'm not really feeling a lot of different things okay so then, don't try to be a pushover or something. So when I write inmates, it don't matter who the person is, if they're yellow, if they're white, if they're brown, if they're, if they're blue, if they're green. If they can help me 
with coping with what I'm going through, then I feel like I can get up and I can move and I can be comfortable with myself and who I am. Okay, but then there's some things that, you know, like I would have to learn also, like every time uh, I'm going for a walk, uh, well, would you like a ride? Or, uh, because I got some weed. And I can know, cause, because it goes from I got some weed to I got to be laying in your bed. For the purposes of what? It doesn't matter if I'm married or if I ain't married. Why is that? Like, I just would rather talk to someone who will be able to understand me and be able to comprehend me. And, and understand and know who I am as a person. I ain't found that yet. And not one man on this earth. You know. So I just rather be alone. And with my puppy. And people seem to have a problem with that. But why do you have a problem with that? People like to set me up. For the purposes of what? What are you gaining for setting me up? Is the law writing you a check to set me up? Because that's how I feel. 